And by well, what, brief summary and synopsis, I mean BS. I would say, tell us about how you feel about Nazis. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, they should just get bombed. <laughs> uh, you mean drop? Out of this freaking this planet. <laughs> no. You mean they should um, be thrown into ovens? <laughs> with, with, with bacon? <laughs> oh, Is that what you're saying? Don't waste the bacon. Bacon That's Nazis. Cool. Yeah, bacon yeah. Nazis. Well, you've heard, Applewood, <laughs> you've heard of Applewood smoked bacon. Well, how about Nazi smoked bacon? Hey, don't knock oh, it until you try it. So, I, I, what about uh, what about Nazis that they're not real strong Nazis? They're they're not good Nazis. They 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 not even Nazis. They're kind, like of, they're, they're kind of exploring because they're they're of the mind that um, you don't have. That you don't have to actually embrace an idea to entertain it. That you can actually look into it and find out and make your own decision. So maybe they're in the exploratory phase, and maybe they're maybe they're not on board with all that stuff. Uh, would well, you? Want would, to, they're looking for they're looking for people that are exploring. That's the recruitment is. That's the, how you recruit. Yeah, but the, but um, the thing is, but we're the thing having is, a punching Nazi conversation right but, now. But, this is awesome. I'm but, just going to kick back thing. and listen. Here, here's here's the thing, though, Ty. Um, doesn't it make sense to kind of explore and because if you're going to discount something as, as a horrible idea, uh, doesn't it make sense to understand what you're labeling as a horrible idea. That way you can explain, okay, this is why I disagree with Nazism. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, well, if yeah. some, so if, if you go around and you have your, uh, let's say anti-Nazi, uh, uh, secret state police go and pick everybody up and, and, and then you take them over into, into the camps to where you can sort them out and find out, okay, who really needs to go in the oven here? Uh, so I mean, are, are you going to, are you going to, you know, say, all right, well, we are going to do a little, little bit of, uh, finding out of who's who and what's what. We're going to you know, do some so, discernment. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so, you know, lie down on this table. Just ignore the water and answer the questions. Um, those of you that turn out to be really Nazis, then we're just going to put you on these cow cars and take you off to to I long. think they can do uh, it. They a got, camp. They got a it camp. down to these calipers. A camp. Yeah. That measure yeah, the you're cranium. Going, you're, you're going to go camping for a little while. Uh, those of you that were still in the in the looking phase, or those of you that. Um, not really bad enough to go off to camp, but not really good enough to go out in the public. We're just gonna we're gonna give you jobs for a little while so that you can earn your keep. So yeah, I think you're good is about that, yourself. Is, is that what well, you're you can gonna go out and, and terrorize people, physically remove people? You guys can do your you can do your thing. <laughs> it's like um, it's very weird. It's very interesting. The promotion of this kind of reality, um, the promotion aspect of it is there. It's not it's not gone. Um, it's something that needs to be understood here. Um, these guys literally want to physically remove people. We can, mm-hmm. you know, that's what the freedom that they want. Yeah. That's the freedom of what they want to talk about. So it's like, uh, um, so they, and, 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 and they want to throw them out of helicopters too. Well, they yeah. use the concept of, they use it. The, well, the, that's the, that the throwing the heli- throwing people out of helicopters is a, is like a, Symbology for yeah, it's, it's a metaphor. It, it's it's a metaphorical because yeah. I don't believe that it actually happened. It's it's kind of like an urban legend. So they I, they I use think the they meta- mean it as a they real use, metaphor. Though. Yeah. So they Some but people. they use but they use well they can't afford that much jet fuel. But anyway, <laughs> I trust me when it comes when it comes time to to start throwing commies out of helicopters, all these guys are going to come out of their mom's basement. They're going to have a bake sale to run a helicopter for an hour and hope that they can do it efficiently. The thing is, is what kind of commies are they talking about? Who are they going to throw out of the helicopters, right? That, that's the question to ask you, Ty, <laughs> the other way. You who, know what? The Nazis? That's the reverse uh, yeah. problem. Yeah, yeah. Who, are, who are the Nazis, huh? that, you're, who are the Nazis that you're going to throw out of an oven, Ty? Oh, the Nazis, those guys are people that comes from like the TWP, the NSM, the AB, the AB, the AS, the NS. Those guys are actual real people that existed for quite a bit of years. It's there, just there coming are, out on the front. Which is coming out on the which, forefront. Which, it's just coming Nazis, out in the open because, huh? It's which coming Nazis, out in the open because we enable them to be able to speak. So now we can see them out in the open in a way because we enabled this kind of, uh, what's it called that? We enable this kind of mentality. 
Who's and reality without, oh, okay. without okay. knowing yeah. whether directly or indirectly, you know? Okay. Okay. All right. I have a shit. I have a follow up question yeah. here. Um, yeah. So maybe with some of these, you know, they they've talked about how they want to literally throw people out of helicopters if they can, you know, collect enough returnable bottles and recyclables to get the money to do that. Um, now, how is that different about how you're talking about how you're going to throw Nazis out? Because from my understanding, oh, no, I, I don't no, think no, I'm no. throwing Nazis out of helicopters. So. No, you're talking about throwing <laughs> them out of ovens. Them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, wait, but, but, if but, you but throw them out of thing. ovens, aren't you saving them? Really? Really? If you're throwing them out of ovens, you're well, saving if they, them. If they, want to, if they want to save something, they should save the bacon from the oven. But uh, <laughs> I, well, it's, well, it's I, that is I, inappropriate. I, my point here is you are doing the same thing that you want to throw them into an oven for. What you're no, doing is. No, what, no, no yeah, yes, yes, yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. Hear me yeah, out yeah, on no, this. Hear me yeah. out on this. What you're doing <laughs> is you're talking about punishing them for thought crime. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is saying, mm. you know what, you got bad thoughts mm -hmm. and you and you say nasty things that yeah. maybe frighten people or something like that. Therefore, we're going to do to you what you're talking about doing to those guys or us guys. And and you're as as I've said when when, when I talk mm -hmm. about like these black block uh, Antifa ones you know, I'm not talking about the people that are like, you know what, I'm opposed to fascism. They're opposed to all fascism. I'm talking about the black black yeah, all fascism. Yeah, even, that, and, yeah, I mean they, they they see a storm as a as a sale. You know, a a, a buy none, get up get a bunch of them free because they go looting. All right. You know, the the hardcore BLM jerk offs. So when when I when I see these alt right people like these assholes that were in Charlottesville and I see these alt left people what they are is they're the reflection of each other <laughs> in a mirror. They're yeah. the opposites. Yeah. Equal and opposite reactions. Um, it, 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 it seems that way because people are perceiving it that way depending on how the market is going on those YouTubes and computers with, like with 4chan and stuff. You know, yeah. you, you have a lot of people um, using um, a, a particular type of social engineering and creating a perception of like, you can't really defend yourself. You can't, you can't, See, when you seen that march in Charlottesville, what were they chanting? And they were serious. Jew, you can't Jews will not serious. replace us. They were saying Jews will not replace us. And, Whose and basement? Yeah. Mom's basement. And Whose basement? Soil. Mom's <laughs> basement. That's really what they were saying. But but yeah. but they did surround a handful and guess of who, 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 And guess who was leading, leading the groups? People from the TWP, the NSM. Identity Europa, they were leading the group. So basically, basically leading people to this particular reality. It's just we can't deny it. Right. Well, who's deny it? It's, not, who's... it's not really a thought crime. It is the idea to move forward with it. That's how ideas work. An idea does not work without action. Every idea has to have action following after it. It can't work no, the other way. No, no, no. Every, ideas don't have to have action following them. Most ideas that people have no, actually no, don't no. produce action. Yeah, they don't have to. They don't have to have uh, action following them. I mean, that's a person will think of thought, but those are like I don't know, simple thoughts or something. But this is a whole other reality. This is a political reality. These are workers' parties and all this stuff. This is like some real shit. <laughs> I mean, so, so, so let me let me ask you this: Do you yeah. require action? Do you require them to actually do something before you start throwing them in there, or do you want to put them in there for, for thought crime? Because, quite frankly, if you put a if you put a Nazi in the oven, you better jump in with them because you're advocating the same thing that they're doing. And I'm fine with that. Now, both of you can get in there. Um, that solves a lot of my problems. I, I but I yeah, but if you, these the guys that are attacking Nazis are they attacking everybody or asking for physical removal of any kind of class or people? It really boils to be down. Honest with you, I'm not really that sure. It boils down to the individuals. Uh, always, it's yeah. individuals responsible yeah. for their actions. You can't really. It, I think Ryan, Ryan MC said it quite well. The problem is the broad brushstrokes on either side. 
Yeah, on on both sides. Yeah, that's. I mean, you create a standard. Well, that's, not, that's the perception again. Like I said, these guys were around for so many years. These fights were going on for so long, like over thirty but years. That doesn't, like still, 30 that still years. doesn't paint and, everybody and, under and the same. It, it and still doesn't. It still doesn't take away from the fact that that that's no. what happens. People tend to brush stroke in broad ways. This, like, and you can't oh, control see. everybody in your group. You create a standard. No. The standard is you have a dangerous yeah. idea. You're, I'm, 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 I'm believing that you're going to take action on the idea. So I'm going to preemptively do something about it. And and I don't think this is a, for me. I, I don't think I'm quite in lose camp. I, I, it's like you know, I want to have a show about this. Like when I'm really yeah. thinking, and I'm not just goofy okay. like I am. But yeah. But and, and, and well, let me let a, me finish. There's a follow up I want to have on this. Show. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. I do have a follow quick. up for this. Okay, but let me let me finish up real quick. Uh, so so the the. The the point that I'm making, Ty, is that the day, day danger is that you're setting a precedent that you have no control over. You cannot control what everybody mm -hmm. in your group is going to do mm -hmm. once you establish the precedent. It's kind of like, you know, in the beginning when the ANCAPs were talking about uh, commies, they had a very narrow definition of commies, and they kept getting broader and broader, and, and I have little doubt that once you establish a standard that it's okay to do this, that, that the definition is going to continue to broaden. Yep, that's, that's the fluidity of language, yeah, that's the I danger of it, because once, really, you set, once you set yeah. the precedent for the action, the definitions still change, but the action becomes okay. What you have a problem with is the action. You're afraid of the action, not the idea. Yeah, and, and I'm with you on the action. I think there's, a, there's something going yeah, on yeah. here, Ty. So I'm like that's why I'm like I, I'm kind of struggling with the issue myself because I definitely think there's something going on here that that needs to be seriously maybe we uh, should maybe we confronted. should maybe we should roll this over to an open action show now now can I jump in with because I want there's there's a point I wanted to follow up with Ty uh, you said that yeah. we allowed this to happen we allowed them to speak okay so. Are not, you under, not allowed to enable, enable them to be able to feel that strength to do that. Because and, and before, they, before the anti-fascists were fighting the neo-fascists for so many years, that they didn't have a platform, so they couldn't really go up. Now people are being enabling them. Now people are giving false equivalency. It's going to get, it's too weird. It's like you can't defend a Nazi or a fascist type of ideology. They can't, even a thought crime. How do you defend that shit? That fucking... Weird, like, uh, and for uh, some reason, they don't get that big because they, yeah. I'll be the first. Anybody's defending it on this yeah, show. I'll be the first to tell you that, uh, no, no. that, that they're gaping, pus oozing assholes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not just no, gaping, yeah. but pus oozing. Yeah, okay. yeah. I I just, then, avow, I just avow everybody and everything except for Paul and Bodie because I like them. You, you <laughs> you've got potential, but right now you're still. Hey, just, hey, hey, Lou. Like, here, hey, Lou. <laughs> I like you too. All right, good. Now shut up, Lloyd Fish. Now here's the here's the important thing. Do you yeah. believe uh -oh, that you can end an ideology by going out and trying to crush it? Do you believe that your army can crush an idea? And, and granted, no. it's, it's, no. it's a stupid idea. Yeah. So yeah. I would, I probably think my personal opinion is uh, the best way to actually fight an idea is with better ideas and. With me, I, 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 I have absolutely no use for communism. I don't care if people are, want to be communists. I don't care if they want to have their own little commune. I don't even care if they want to have their commune near me. It's when they want me to be a communist that I have a problem. That's, that's when I start using defensive force, when they come to anarcho-communize my property. See, I am a believer in private property, and if they come and they try to try to – anarcho communize my private property then I they'll, 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 they'll no i think he's just yeah. being uh you yeah. know yeah no, I, 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 here, here's the thing and and you know what i I've, I've met a few commies in real life that i don't really think that i would have to do that uh oh you're falling apart paul but uh, just, uh, just but, when you say when you say <laughs> communist i'm just wondering what kind of communist you're talking about that's why i get confused um personally when people say communist because I feel like people say use a, such a generic uh, terminology are, or the red scare terminology of stuff like what, I, what ideology are you talking about? You know, um, those, those, is it libertarian, those, libertarianism you're talking about or state communism of um, uh, Leninism or what is it that you're talking about? You know, 
those also, who, those who believe in a collective ownership of property and 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 because this is a key qualifier expect me to live their way so you're you're you're, you're essentially when you say commie you're talking about state commie yeah yeah, you're saying ex- you expect you to to live that way. So that you're saying you, they're going to use force. Yeah, right? those are those who want me to become a communist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's see that's the the see. So you're not talking about libertarianism then. That's that's the whole thing. That's like no, it, because no, when, it, when it, the alt right when the alt right or certain people they conflate libertarians to state communism well, too Lou, much because yeah. they use that red scare tactic. They use that risk your tactic instead of trying to understand volunteerism or libertarianism and people having discussions and stuff like that. I understand the difference between the two because I'm not a low grade moron like they are. And, and yeah, I yeah. Think Lou gave a pretty good qualifier there. He's like, I don't care if they want to be commies. And you know, my issue, and they can be commies right next to me. My issue is the minute that they say, hey, you're a commie now. That's that's your well, one fault. You or they say we're gonna live in your house. That's some bullshit too. <laughs> that, that, that's that's a that, line. That's a that, line, dude. That will definitely be physical removal. Well, that will. Yeah, that's real bad. Yeah. yeah. I'll wait yeah. for them to so, leave before. I just so ordered I, finishing nails. But but here's here's the thing. I know that I can't go around and kill all the commies to wipe that idea ideology around out. I know that I can't beat them yeah. to change what is in their heart. They'll die before that happens. I might get them to disavow it publicly with their words, but no yeah. matter how much I beat them, it's not going to change what they believe in in, the, in their heart and in their mind. As a matter of fact, I might even get them to participate in capitalistic private property ownership through different coercion and fear and just all sorts of ungodly things that are unimaginable that I would not talk about even on Facebook radio. I might be able to torment them into acting that way, but that doesn't mean that I can get them to change what they believe in their heart and in their mind. The only thing that's going to change that their ideology (laughs) is a better ideology. That's a, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, anything well, status is bad, but right. any status ideology out there, fascism is really very bad. Like it, it really is. They want monoculturalism and mono ethnicity in a nation. And when you think of that, you're getting you with fascism. After you pick fascism, you have to pick what system you want: a cor- um, corporatism or socialism. Because fascism can have any political ideology. Communism, socialism, corporatism. yeah, that's a good, either that's one. a good point. Yeah, either one. But now, when you get when you pick an ideology, now you're putting fascism on top of that. It's getting real bad. You're putting fascism on top of communism. That's bad. You're putting fascism on top of socialism. That's crazy. And then on top of corporatism, now you want ethno uh, that mono ethnicity and and mono monoculturalism in this fascist, re, you know, in this kind of political ideology to be picked. It's just, that's double. That's double trouble, dude. And it's not the same. It's, it's, it can't, fascism is not something completely different from these other ideologies. Fascism is something that is added to these ideologies. That's the difference. 